health, and fitness goals top the list for New Year's resolutions. And for this group of St. Louis area seniors, the commitment is real. It began long before 2023. I think I've been here probably five or seven years. I started here 13 years ago. I've actually started about 2008 or 2009. They are in a strength, stretch, and balance class for seniors. It's one of several classes offered at Mercy Hospital South. I think getting in the door is the hardest thing that you can do because people will sign up for classes, and this has happened multiple times, and they won't come. Once they do. It takes effort, you know. It, some mornings you feel terrible, but once you get going in your groove, you know, it's not that difficult. The reasons for joining vary. Keeps me moving. I probably would be in a wheelchair if I wasn't coming here. I had a little bout with depression, and when I got through the, all the counseling, they suggested that I come and do these. Started here doing Tai Chi, and it kind of evolved in now into Gene's fitness class. I've developed neuropathy in my legs. So the doctors tell me uh, they can't fix the neuropathy but you can strengthen your muscles in your legs. I have arthritis real bad, so that is my main reason for coming. My husband had just passed away, and I thought it'd be good to get out and be with people, and it was hard, but I'm so glad I did. While the reasons differ, the goals are about the same. People over 65, one-fourth of the seniors they fall every year. It is the top reason why people die um, over, over that age or are injured. So that's what, what we're trying to stop right now. And we're trying to strengthen their bodies, especially their core muscles, in order to keep them healthy and standing on both feet. You have to be able to support yourself. So we work on exercises where you actually have to be strong enough in the core to catch yourself if you start to fall. So that's why we strengthen the body and use your arms and your hands and in case you do fall. And there's one more thing that just happens. We have so much fun <laughs> in here. We have a lot of fun. What they learn here even helps them set goals at home. I try to do some of the things we do in class at home, you know, like stretching and things with your feet. Move your feet, move your bodies, get up and walk, not just at the kitchen, and just get up and walk like every 20 minutes. Some have an even deeper motivation that keeps them coming every week. I'm 84, and it'd be easy for me just to sit down with these legs and quit, but I don't want to do that. You, you'll just fade away. I love Jean. She's wonderful instructor. Some of it is the people because, um, you know, during the week, most all of my friends are dead. They're either dead or they're, they live out of town. So these are my friends. <laughs> this is why they encourage other seniors to fulfill a fitness New Year's resolution. New faces would be welcome. It amazes me that there's not more men in this class. And it helps fight wintertime blues. The winter in these type days that we're having is, I think, you should set a goal. I do a Tuesday and Thursday class, and in both classes, there's a very good bunch of people that you can meet, socialize with, and that helps a lot, too. Socializing is a big part of this class. It's a great group of gals. I mean, we ha we're not only exercising, we have fun. What about Leo? Oh, he's, he's a riot. Leo is wonderful. He fits right in with us. <laughs> I've been the only man in this class for a few years now. Which goes back to the point. I just need to tell them get off their butt and get out and do it. And the new year may be a perfect time. It'll keep you healthy and happy. We have a different <laughs> attitude when you're with people. It's great. <laughs>